Do body building something now. Let me see. <laughs> Which one do you want? You want like anyone? You do you pose? Yeah, I don't know what you do. You pose. <laughs> so. Uh huh. Next one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> May I show some facts? Show some facts. <laughs> show some facts. Show. Hey, it's okay, it's like. <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing a workout routine earlier and he's going to just do us some training on abs and stuff. So you guys stay ready. And I'm going to just know more about this fitness lifestyle. So make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and share. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you guys. Bye! So I'm here today with training and abs. The first exercise is called crunches. Look, lay on your back with your knees bent and feet flat on the floor. Hip weight apart. Place your hand behind your head so your thumbs are behind your ears and don't lace your fingers together. Hold your elbows out to the side or round the slighted in and at the same time tilt your chin slightly. Yet gently pull your abdominals inward, curl up forward so that your head, neck and shoulders lift off the floor. Hold at the top for a moment and then slowly lower back down. Lie with your back flat on the mat or a bench with your legs extended in front of you. This will be your starting position. Place your hands either on either side of your body or on the glutes with your palms facing down. As you keep your legs extended, straight as much as possible with your knees slightly bent but locked. Raise your legs until they make 90 degrees angle with the floor. Hold this for a moment and slowly raise back down. Next exercise is called the ball to toe movement. It starts with laying down on your back with a stability ball in between your hands and your legs fully extended out. Slowly raise your legs up towards your midsection at an angle of 90 degrees to the floor with the stability ball also moving from your hands towards your feet. Switch the ball from your hands to your feet. Slowly raise the ball back to the ground using your feet with your hands extending over your head. As much as possible, stretch and come back up to the mid position. The last exercise is called the plank. Slowly get into a push up position with your forearms rather than your palms. Keep your feet flexed with the bottom of your toes on the floor. Slowly raise your body to become parallel with the floor in a straight line as much as possible. Crunch your abdominal muscles and tighten your buttocks. Look at the floor to keep your head in a neutral position and breathe normally. Hold for the required amount of time and lower yourself back to the floor. Yeah, I would say I just love working out and helping people like try to make the fitness basically. Uh, 
first first time I started working this, I became fat. So I couldn't get into the fruits anymore. Uh, I started working out. Uh, I saw results after a few weeks. And it became a lifestyle me. I wouldn't really say addicted to gym, but I would say it's a lifestyle. Like, I can't go in and tell my kid out to three days. I actually have to go out. Uh, the ideal goal is to go to a gym someday. And if possible, I would love a lot of people to make that kind of response. For the bed also, like, I work with different clients and I help people lose weight or gain muscle. I don't do shortcuts to <laughs> six pack <laughs> or, <laughs> or flat tummy T program. I don't do any of those programs. I just do the basic. If you want to gain weight or you want to lose weight, basically. Uh, I went for a bodybuilding show in which I competed in my class. And it was just to qualify for the Ontario show and I won the show. Yeah, they do. So it's like. The three stages is the regional, this the provincial, and this the national. So I was just trying to qualify for the provincial. National is if I qualify from provincial. So I did a bodybuilding show because, like, not that people have actually asked me to try and compete before, but I've always wanted to like step on stage myself to prove how far I've come with the whole physique, normal classic physique, normal bodybuilding. But I decided to do men's physique because. I have the the ideal look for maybe what's called the men physical computer. Yeah, it's basically it's not a strength show, it's just basically you pose in front of judges to pretend. Are the judges women? Yeah, there was I think there were about three women or two women, I can't remember so like anyway. Yeah, it's not easy. You can't wake up and say you understand the body units anymore. The first one is you have to be consistent. That's the basic one. If you're not consistent with your training or with your diet, I'll show you you'll see a uh, The second one is just do you. Always listen to your body. If you're not feeling too good, don't step in the gym. If you're not happy with what you eat and don't eat it, that's what we're saying. It doesn't mean like if you're sad, you go to the or something. <laughs> Just take it slowly, that's what I was talking about. Never rush into it.